How did you guys first uh, come across Michelle? Had you seen anything he'd done? It was kind of an accident because um, we had uh, wanted to do, uh, uh, we were going to do a video of Fell in Love with a Girl, and um, we, I said, uh, they said, who do you like? And I said, no, I like the, whoever did that Bex Devil's haircut video. I said, and they called Michelle, and then the guy at the record loop said, oh, yeah, he's the guy who did that video, when she wasn't. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, but then he had done this other Beck video that I really liked as well, and then I, then I heard about the other ones he had done uh, around the world, and so I was like, yeah, great, let's talk to him. Half of it was uh, actual stop frame animation. He was actually using real Lego blocks and building versions of us playing our instruments. And then the other half of the video was uh, he digitized what he'd filmed of us in, into square pixels and turned the pixels into Lego blocks. So it was sort of half and half. It blended really well together because you can't really tell what's what most of the time. It was sort of a, an idea that just couldn't go wrong, I think. I shot them first on video with a mini DV camera uh, and I didn't want to be narrative, I really wanted to make like a collage video just because the process was so complex after that I couldn't add too many layers. Are you alright? I must be fine because my heart's still beating. The problem with animating Lego is when you do animation frame by frame, you have to, uh, uh, to you, you would do uh, a shape and then you take one picture and then you move the shape a little bit, you take another picture, and you move the shape a little bit, you take another picture. And then when you uh, show all those frames together, uh, they, uh, you create the animation. So what we had to do is we first shot on video, then we printed uh, with a pixelation effect each uh, layer, which was 24 per second. We had 15 animators that would build a wall of Lego, basically the size of this sheet of paper. Uh, and we'll put that in front of the camera and shoot it. So that took like more than two months to do. He was just filming us with a little camera and uh, we were just running around and running up and down stairs and things like that. And that was uh, so fun and simple. It just had us running around and running on treadmills and running up and down stairs. It was so quick and easy. We're like, that's all we have to do because everything else was sort of a, it was sort of a post-production video. That was the idea. It was way better than Meg's idea of us being made out of Oreo cookies. I don't know, I, know I, still, I, think, I think it could have worked. You know, I really what were you thinking? Well, the interesting thing was that when we finished doing uh, that video, we, you know, with the Lego blocks and everything, and we'd called uh, Lego, the Lego company, and we wanted to do uh, a version <coughs> of the single, like a, maybe a couple of hundred copies, where you, it came with a kit of Legos where you could build me and Meg on stage. And Lego said, no, I said, we don't market to anybody over 12 years old. And then, of course, the video became a big hit, and they ended up calling back and saying, oh, well, uh, can we do some kind of uh, thing together? And I was like, oh, you know, you had your chance, you know. <laughs> That's pretty American.